Hello, welcome to my journey to the media world. Today I'm here at uh, East Park in Wolverhampton for the Wolves in the Park tournament. So I'm here with Carl um, from the Wolverhampton Wanderers Foundation. Um, so Carl, just tell us about the Wolves in the Park tournament and what it's about. Wolves in the Park is uh, an initiative set up by Wolverhampton Wanderers Foundation for um, men that are aged over 30 to come together um, play football three times a week at three different venues across Dudley and Wolverhampton. Um, the sessions run from uh, 5.30 till 7, Monday nights at Donkey Pool in Dudley, um, Tuesday at East Park in Wolverhampton and Thursday at Fowler's Park in Wolverhampton. It's an opportunity for like-minded males um, 30 and over to come together, get some fresh air and have a kick about to play football with no pressure of uh, exercises, practices or coaching. Um, we've put it on just to um, get people out and about in the area to come and um, discuss any issues that they may have and to increase their strength both physically and mentally just by having a good laugh and, and playing football. The whole idea behind the tournament was to get all three venues that we put on together to compete against each other and just meet up um, to discuss how the um, project has helped them and uh, as to where they you know they want to be in the future going forward um when the project finishes in september we are looking to put on some sort of um exit strategy after the project finishes where we're going to try and get all three venues together again one night a week um, for when the nights draw in towards the autumn and winter so they can still get together uh, come and play and share the same interest of play, playing football uh, well beyond the age of 30. Against each other, you all know what you're doing, you're not going to dive in, you're not going to go mad, you're not going to go and try to take people out of the knees or anything like that. It's it's more than, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just enjoy the game, it's enjoy the game. in the manner that you've enjoyed the sessions of a, of a Monday, a Tuesday and a Thursday. So I'm here with Manny, one of the participants. Um, so Manny, just tell us about what um, the tournament has done for you. Well, it's just been a, a great way of, of getting out. Again, I think we all, as youngsters, um, uh, loved playing football and probably never thought we'd ever um, uh, really play again in this type of environment, you know, playing against other, other people and in a, in a team format. So it's been great and meeting a lot of fans that you go to the football with or that you've met on social media and sort of, you know, it's, it's a great way to connect and have a bit of a laugh and stretch your legs and have a few aches for the week. <laughs> yeah. And how long have you been coming to this? Well, I, I came from the start, and uh, Carl sort of um, when when he introduced it, uh, you saw the over thirties and thought, oh, that's great. I'll try a bit of that. So yeah, I've been coming from the start, and um, I've attended um, all the sessions on all the different locations as well. And it's been great. Yeah. So would you say since coming to this tournament, you're playing a lot more football than you did before? Well, this is the only football I've played for years and I think if you speak to most of the people here you know we haven't played since we were at school or played our junior team some of us played for you know so yeah I think more and more people there's a few people here who've said they've got into fitness and it's helped them lose weight and you know it's made them go out and meet people which you know has help, uh, helped their mental health as well so it's been a, a positive in more aspects than just the just the football. Yeah, yeah. and finally I see you're on the blue team tonight. Yeah, um, on the blue team. I've sort of uh, East Park is sort of where I play mostly, but we've evened the numbers out today. So I think I'm on the Fowler's Park um, uh, team today, which is quite good actually, because that's where I've grown and brought up and played as a young kid. So yeah. yeah. What do you think of your chances then tonight? Oh um, yeah, I think it's in the bag. We've got um. Uh, uh, New signing, uh, Mr. Carl Henry, joining us for the the match. I think he's going to play a bit of a part today as well. So, I think the most important thing is just having having a bit of fun, and have a laugh, you know, and um, uh, um, show our skills off. <laughs>so I'm here with John another one of the players um, just tell us what the tournament has done for you 
He, he tinges the tournament it's been over the last six weeks. We've been here on a Tuesday night training in the park. When we first started, I was 24 stone. Yeah. Uh, this week, I'm two pound over the, the 21. Yeah. So I've lost nearly three stone with the training and, and the help of everybody down here. And this tournament just galvanises everybody together. Yeah. You, you would say then it's helped you a lot? A lot. It's given me a complete mental change. I, I, I've looked at food different and, uh, and it, it made me look at my sugar intake and where I could cut down so that the exercise plus the healthy eating. It, it, well, I couldn't be doing this. Six weeks ago, you wouldn't have seen me last a couple of minutes. And I'm now doing an hour and a half here on a Tuesday night. So it, it's a massive step up for me. Yeah. Well, um, I think that's a great achievement. And um, tonight, uh, how, what do you think your chances will be tonight? Ah, uh, well, it, it's going to be difficult now, I think. Two games back to back really put paid to us with us not scoring, you know, two drawing games. But we have got some good players, so hopefully we can... The next few games we can bring it out and win this tournament, I hope. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Oh, oh, easy, time, time, time. Take it! Who wants it? Oh, Finish up! Oh. Well done! Well done, Gary. Anybody want it? Go, 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 go. One more, one more. Hello. Probably did Regan, it was probably him. Close it. Full turn. So I'm here with uh, Carl Henry, um, ex Wolverhampton Wanderers uh, captain. Um, you made over 240 appearances for Wolves. What's it like being here today? Um, do you know what I was just saying to uh, to these guys? It, it's not only the turning up, but they, how com they're, they're really competitive as well. And um, I've said on sort of many occasions for me when I when I play wherever I play, I, I, I'm so competitive, ultra competitive, and and I often ruin family games of just about anything because I'm so competitive. And so it's nice uh, coming over here and seeing how competitive these guys were as well. It's you know it's no no different to going out there um, in front of 28,000 at, at, at Molyneux. It's the same competitiveness. You've got to beat your opposition, and uh, I really, really enjoyed it tonight. Yeah. And what do you think about everything that Ward Foundation is trying to do? Um, it, they do an incredible job and a really important job as well. Um, being part of the community is, is, and working uh, with the uh, community projects is something that I've always been passionate about. When I was at, uh, from when I started as a young lad at Stoke City and. Uh, Wolves as well. Every club I've been at, I've, I've, I've tried to do my, my bit and play my as much of a part as, as I can in, in this type of thing. And I think it's re it's hugely important. I think to be in touch with your fan base, to be in touch with the community and, and to be helping um, with, with in so many different areas like the Wolves Foundation do, um, it's incredible and I'm honoured to be a part of it. Yeah, and how much has it progressed since you were playing in terms of the community and how it's helping the community? Um, it's from going back, say, ten years ago. Um, it's it's improved immeasurably, really. When I, I spoke to to Will, and saw and just and heard how many things they've got going on, just how many projects doing three of these um, a week, one in, in in three different locations, it, as well as all the other things that they've got, all the other different workshops, um, helping youngsters, people of all ages, um, nationalities. Um, I, I think it's gender. It's it's, it's it's brilliant. They've got so much, so much going on, and it, I, I don't know how um, the, the foundation are managing to do it all. To be honest, 
Well, uh, thank you for your time and well done tonight, obviously, win his medal. Yeah, well, you, you know, it's, uh, it doesn't matter where it is, it's, this is a big win for me and this will be in the, in the cabinet next to the, uh, I think, the championship winning medal. So a win, a win's a win. And uh, some of these guys don't, some of these guys are looking at me, they're like, like I'm, I'm being silly here, but you, listen, when, you, when you're a you competitive person. Yeah, very competitive. When you're competitive, every win's massive, isn't it? Doesn't matter yeah. whether it's a game of Ludo, game of Monopoly or a game of football over here on a Tuesday, I, I, it's a win's important. Good to bet, always, all, the, the journey home's always much better, isn't it, with a win? Yeah. Uh, thank it's you. all time. finished here at uh, the Wolves in the Park event here at East Park and um, really competitive from all the lads involved. Uh, Reds came out the winners as you would have seen there. Uh, great to see ex professional Carl Henry here as well. Um, looking forward to seeing what else the Wolf Foundation um, comes up with. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and turn on your post notifications. I'll be doing a lot more with Wolves. So if you are a Wolf fan, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like I say, until next time, goodbye. If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another? Click here to watch him in full. Also, subscribe if you're new so you can follow my journey to the media world.